Hi everyone. Hello. How is everyone Good doing? Evening. We are. Oh man. It's yeah. Sorry, it's been a hot minute, everyone. <laughs> it has been. It has 100,010 billion percent been a hot minute. Mm -hmm. We're sorry we've been away for a week. But, one, I needed a break. Two, we were both busy on Tuesday, yeah. <laughs> Let's be real, I was busy. <laughs> no, you were busy on Tuesday. I needed a break on Thursday. I... Yeah. I was not in a good place mentally. <laughs> it happens. Yeah. Wait, give me, give me three seconds. I have to check something. One, one thousand. Two, one thousand. <laughs> 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 oh. Hey, Snow, what's up? Did you actually count? Uh, I, I counted one, one thousand, two, one thousand, and started laughing. I didn't actually. I didn't actually count all the way. Ah, got it, got it, got it. <laughs> I'm not that mean, dude. That one say make me a bit jealous. Got right? Honestly. Yeah. <laughs> they're actually like. Even if they're not gay for each other, they're very nice people to each other. They're very friendship goals. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Back. Friendshipful in a, like, are you sure it's just friends? Yeah, are we sure? <laughs> I'm looking at some new Oh, my God. Runs well, needs head gasket. I mean, that's not too bad. <sighs> Looks like you've calmed down. I still feel like kicking myself. Make no mistake. It's a Subi, yes it is. Oh well, rip. I guess I pulled down a bit. They helped a lot with that one though. I just can't be mad when I see her. Speaking of which, where is she? I believe she went outside to look for that Stella girl or something. Oh, speaking of things that happened during the week. Uh, oh. Remember, remember how I said I went to El Doctor on Monday? Oh yeah, yes, yes, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I haven't actually like aired out, like let my skin breathe in that area for a little bit because I've just KT taped it like the entire week so far. Yeah, yeah. Today is the first day or the first like hour right now that I've let it like breathe. Oh, yeah. Dude, <laughs> the the bruise is huge. Yeah, uh, El Doctor left the deedle in me because he needed to take the, let the syringe part out because he sucked the, th the stuff out and then he needed to put like some anti-swelling in, right? Mm -hmm. So instead of taking a needle out and sticking me with another needle, he stuck the needle in, unscrewed the syringe thing, and re-screwed one on. But obviously what happened was he stuck it in, sucked it out, Accidentally moved a little bit, went deeper, and was like, oh, I took out some bread. I took out some blood. Um, let me pull this out a little bit. And he had the nurse hold it. Except the problem was, it had already poked through. Oh, no. So when he unscrewed it, <laughs> I could see my pulse through my leak. Oh, no. <laughs> and then I was like, oh. Oh, hey. <laughs> We all looked at it and we're like, oh. And then the doctor was like, Court, where's the other syringe? <laughs> Screwed it in, injected it, and then immediately, like, like you know, had me put a, a, a gauze on it and, like, hold it up and everything. And I was, I was like, all right, then. <laughs> I, look at the, I look at the little mat of cloth they put under my hand. And it's like this giant splotch. And I'm like, bro, you look like someone almost died here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was wild. But yeah, because of that, um, like my entire, like most of my wrist and like up to my thumb is bruised. Oof. Good times. It doesn't hurt, but it's just like 
Damn, we let out a lot of red that day. <laughs> but it's not swollen anymore. Woo! <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> I don't have the my issue anymore. Hey, I mean, at least it's better. Yeah. <clears throat> Anyways, back <laughs> back to it. And you aren't even trying to give red, yeah. I'm gonna give red on uh, next Saturday. Anyway, <laughs> back to the game. <laughs> After all yep. of that, sorry. No, you're good. Don't you read? Stella? Oh. oh yeah, I do. Uh, the way you are. The way you are right now, it feels like I should be protecting you. Hey, the only the only thing hindering me is a broken arm. I've gone into burning buildings with a two centimeter deep cut. Bro. Bro. <laughs> that's a whole ass. That's almost a whole ass inch. <laughs> Girl's just like, yeah, I got like a pull in. I got like, I got like stabbed pretty deep, and it's nice, nah, it's no big deal. Yeah, I remember that one. One millimeter more, you would have lost the motor function in your arm. Sweet Jesus. Good God. Welcome. Ah, hello, Jill. What's this about protecting who? Uh, yeah, um, I'm sort of like Stella's unofficial bodyguard. I'm not really fit for such duties right now. My father insists I go everywhere protection, so most of the time I only ask Say if she feels like going out. She's trained to deal with the, ki with the kind of things that bodyguards deal with anyway. And she's more fun to hang around with, too. I'm assuming that gorilla outside is a bodyguard. That that's Buster. He could pretty cool guy. He played football until his until he lost his leg in a demolition derby. He've offered him an implant surgery for all his years of service, but he rejects it every time. Well, well, he got used to the replacement he's using, so maybe it's for the best. It's a thick oak branch with a metal bolt tied to his stuff. Damn. <laughs> Rose Lake. I don't need a real- I don't need an implant leg, I got a stick. Damn. <laughs> and yet he can still run faster than me with it. True. You want something? I'm playing right now. A Brantini, a big one. I'm in a good mood. Jesus. Big brand. That's 12. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, aged, next. Yeah. I'm gonna turn down the game just another touch. Yeah. Game is very loud. A bit. <laughs> After all these years, I still won't don't get why the finest and most expensive things come in small packages. Ever tried to go to a restaurant only for them to serve you a really small portion of some fine food? God. I, hate, I hate expensive restaurants for that reason. You go, you spend like a hundred bucks per person, and you leave- And they give you nothing. Yeah, and then you leave hungry. Yeah. Why? So frustrating. Uh-huh. Car runs good. Second gear doesn't work. Must go from first to th bro. That's not working. <laughs> that's not a running car. Bruh. Sometimes you sometimes you just want to stuff yourself with really cheap food. Say, let's go for some hamburgers later. I'm not taking no for an answer. They know what you mean when you say some, you know? You might as well call the place and tell them to prepare everything in advance. Bruh! <laughs> say. Say. You didn't need to say that out loud. <laughs> I don't know. Jacob, all you can eat, 
Yep. Yeah. Although, like, some steakhouses are like, yep, here's your filet mignon. It's 120 bucks, and you get, like, three ounces. And that's it. You get you get a steak, and that's it. Can I ask you two something? Sure. I guess. How did you two meet? Stella showed up in the park I used to play at when I was a kid. We played a couple of times, she started showing up more and more, and that was it. <coughs> My father told me that. When I was five, I kept insisting on going to a real kid's park. We drove for some some time, and the park I liked was the one Say happened to be at. That's just filet size, though, to be honest. You're right. Have you ever seen a gal in a dress go to a muddy park? She learned her lesson and started showing up with more fitting clothes. Clothes. <laughs> More fitting clothes. But man, that's a scene I can't forget. Aw, embarrassed cat girl. <laughs> so you two have known each other for most of your lives? I actually just realized that uh -huh. this is all of her hair, this is her arm, and this is the background. I thought she was wearing a dress that like filled out all of that space. Oh yeah yeah. <laughs> Like she end like she ends here. <laughs> like that's background. <laughs> I yeah. I I just realized I was like, man, that's a really fancy dress or like a really frilly haircut. <laughs> I've known her longer than I know my own father. What? What are the question? No reason. You two just look so comfortable with each other. Any other person could have sworn you were an item. Yeah, that's what we just said. Say. An, an item? What kind of item? A couple, say. Oh, an item. Oh, yeah, I get it now. It's funny because we actually earned a mock prize source for best couple at Stella's High School. Three years in a row. <laughs> Damn. Damn! So you two didn't go to the same high school? Nope. Oh. Wait, how did they- what? Don't you have any childhood friends, Jill? Childhood friends? Can't think of any more- any. My grandpa, I guess. All of mine have gone far afield at this point. <laughs> yeah, same. <laughs> What kind of man was he? Rough. The kind to eat raw, raw Bronson roots every morning. You mean like the Bronson extract? Except it's the root bruh. Bruh. <laughs> bruh. <laughs> around me, he was different. I have memories of him barking orders to my dad only to turn around and play with me gently. It's interesting, though. He was my mom's dad. But after my mom and dad separated, he stayed with my dad. What? <laughs> That's interesting. But yeah, he's the one that comes to mind when I think about childhood friends. Ooh. Hey, Jill, what's this? Bloom light? A spicy drink. Tastes nice the first time, but gets samey after a while. It's also brown for some reason. Give me one of those, please. I will have one, too. On it. Aww. Two bloom lights for the girls. Brown. Here. I don't know. I kind of like it. Yeah, but after the third one, it tastes. It starts tasting like sand. 
Damn. Spicy sand, but sand nonetheless. <laughs> How much sand have you eaten, Stella? I guess she had too much before I came. Well, that and that and that she must still be tired. And the whole bank thing? Yeah. She told me about everything that happened in there. To be honest, I don't think I would have made it in your place. Say is stupidly strong in so many ways. He really, really is, and she has no idea either. Yeah. Like I don't know how to put it. It's like she's either purposefully, like, ignorant, or she's just good enough to compartmentalize all of it, and it doesn't affect her. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I want that. Same. I guess I should be thankful for the nanomachine treatment she went through as a white knight. Treatment? Trauma suppressors. Oh. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> uh, there it is. But I still need that. <laughs> yeah, same. Oh. Basically, it helps with the healing process of PTSD. It's mandatory for every white knight, regardless of division. Oh. Oh. Still, healing can only do so much. For three days, that bank was hell, and poor Say was still paying for it. The disbanding of the White Knights and subsequent persecution of those who were identified as former members. It's unfair, you know? Among all the people using the White Knights to further their own goals, Say was the one of the few that actually believed in what they were supposed to do. It paid off, though. The doctor who treated her wounds was the same one she's always assisted with accidents and emergencies. He treated her at no cost whatsoever. Damn! Damn. Well, good karma and all that. She's earned the gods' favor, I think. But you know, all that made me realize I might be a bad person. Really? <laughs> sure, you sure? How? When I saw Say wounded asking for help, a part of me was happy. Stella? After all this time needing her, she finally needed me. Oh. Uh. You know? You know? I've been in relationships with people where I was the stronger person for a long time and it's mm -hmm. and the other person is always says when they're like when I'm like okay I need your help they're like wow it's really nice I'm like what or like they express the like same same sentiment <laughs> I felt truly really useful to her for the first time <sighs> how sad is that Dude, it's normal, don't worry. It's okay, girl. Sometimes the best help one can provide is to stay alive. <coughs> Who knows? Maybe it was their idea coming back to you that helped her. And I guess you wouldn't be human without thoughts like you those once in a while. Oh, those people are truly terrible. Yes. Yeah. <coughs> I don't know anyone like that. <coughs> Why? What are you laughing? Why are you laughing? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't, I don't know sure why. Dan. I don't know why Kel's laughing. Sure, Dan. I don't know. Why are you? Why are you saying that to me? I don't understand. <coughs> Maybe. Can I get you anything else? I'm good. I should be leaving actually. Come say, let's get hamburgers and go home. Yeah. We'll be leaving now. Thank you. Please come again. 
feeling better? No, I just don't reek of rage. But I still feel like a piece of shit. You can lose yourself in that? I... Respectable that you acknowledge it. I... I yeah. <clears throat> Little steps, I guess. Hello? Ah, Kim, welcome. Which one's Kim? Oh, her. Uh, I was afraid I'd mix up the directions and end up in someone's house or something. Can I get you? Uh, I'll have a sunshine cod, please. Uh, how much alcohol should we give her? Uh, let's do two shots to start off. I am god awful at asking for help. Okay. <laughs> Not very many people are good at asking for help. No, no, no. no. You know me well enough. I like. I will like break something before asking for help. Oh, I know. <laughs> I'm very bad at it. Uh... Here. Huh. Hey, yeah, thanks. So, how's the work on the web paper? She no longer works there. Oh, wait. Never mind. Oh, I, oh, I quit. What? Yep, I went to the office of that chauvinistic horse lore and told him I quit. Why did you do that? Uh, well, after I got drunk and overslept, I missed some assignments. My supervisor yelled at me for being late, and I got the mandatory bullying. Mandatory bullying? What the fuck? Hmm? <laughs> mandatory bullying! <laughs> that sucks. So at some point, I just kind of snapped and said that I didn't want to, didn't have to put up with that. Smart girl. Fair. Very, very fair. So I quit. Good on you. Good on you. Mm hmm. Ah, I see. Um, sorry again about that, by the way. Oh, don't worry. I should be the one apologizing. This is what I want to do if I'm working on cars. That's fair. No, I, I will, I will, just not ask for help for a lot of things. <laughs> like yeah. across the board. Yeah. I'll find out that you're like in a pinch way later. <clears throat> I totally didn't. I totally wasn't planning on asking you for help last week and was just like, nah. <laughs> and then I asked my parents instead. You should've. I didn't want to ask. You should've. It's fine, don't worry. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Do you know how much, do you know how hard it was <laughs> to like actually ask my parents for help? I was just like, I like freaked out like all day and then like, I think I'm like seven or eight. I was like, okay, dad, I actually need help. <laughs> Bruh. Yeah, I'm pretty bad at it. I'm actually out like that the day and the next day and all. Don't you have any second thoughts? Regret anything? <sighs> I guess you'll always have second thoughts. Even if you do what you want, you'll still think, what if? And so I was getting physically sick there. I dreaded the arrival every morning. I even almost... What I'm saying is I don't know what I'll do, but it's certainly better than being there. Good for you, girl. Good for you. I feel free. Free. I don't think Kim was the best person to interact with Jill right now. No. <laughs> 
It's a wonderful feeling, you know. I feel like now I can find something I care about. I won't return to the Augmented Eye, but I could still pursue journalism with another outlet. I haven't felt like this in, well, never. <clears throat> what about your family? They weren't happy, that's for sure. My dad took it better, but my mom freaked out, to put it mildly. What are you gonna do and all that? Uh, but I'm not here about that. Give me a big drink, please. What kind? I don't know. Bubbly or something. Pim something big and bubbly, huh? By flavor? By flavor. You could do beer. Could do beer. You could do frothy water. You could do a... We could do a big cobalt velvet and make a whole bunch of money. Could. And do this one. Oh my god. <laughs> we can just make her extremely drunk. <laughs> <coughs> I vote we make money because we're short on money. <laughs> yeah, we need, we need, we need money. Mm-hmm. Four. Three. Hey, yo. Girl's getting sloshed tonight. <laughs> As she should. Here. Could have been the other one. I, this one was $20, like 20 or $30 more, I think. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> If detergent commercials are to be believed, this will clean out my insides. It'll also kill the things inside you. I gotta ask though, how did you end up working there? Yeah, but the other one was nearly double the alcohol. You know what, you're right. <laughs> she could have just had alcohol poisoning. <laughs> she really could have. But we decided to go for money instead of alcohol poisoning. <laughs> No deep reason, that's what I did when I got out of high school. Taking a year off was out of the question, so I went for the first thing I thought about. But I couldn't get into the robotics course, so I settled for journalism. To be honest, I got tired of the job midway through it, but I couldn't bring myself to leave. Uh, too much pressure for my family. God! Is this relatable? It really, really is. <laughs> really common tale, I guess. Did you have troubles like those? Same story as you. I just went through all the motions. From high school to college, I never stopped to think about what I was doing. And then at some point, I just felt like my life slipped through my fingers. Suddenly, all I wanted was freedom, a little pause to stop and take a breather. My life went to hell for that fucking breather. Yeah, um, give, give me a uh, something! Something? Sorry, I just have a dry mouth. Anything will do. Alright. She asked for, uh, something, literally. Do. I think this is one of the spots where we can slip her the 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 the, 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 the drink that's not in the, the thing. <laughs> oh. Yeah, there's a drink that's not on the menu. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Ah, uh, ba 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 ba. Uh, let me let me see what it is. I'm trying to figure out where. Uh, <sighs> Ow. Uh. Um, where? Uh. 
What the hell did it go? I'm trying to find it. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is a good time. Uh, how, what's... It's called a Flaming Maui. What the fuck is the... Duh. Flaming Maui, okay. Shit. <laughs> They said this is a good time for that. Okay. Okay, stick. Okay. It is. One. One. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. It's a sour and classy drink costing 150 bucks. Mixed. Damn. Stop. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Oh, look at the freaking. <laughs> right? Uh. Serve. Here. Thanks. I feel like I asked something I shouldn't have. Don't worry about it. I'm just in a rough spot right now. What are you gonna do now? Honestly, I don't know. I do feel liberated, however. Like, I can do whatever I want, study whatever I like, work whenever, wherever I want. It's, it's, I know it's not that way, and, and I don't, it won't be easy, but I feel a lot more confident than I was when I was out of high school. I honestly don't get why they put young people who barely know how society works through that one. God. Girl, stop. Damn. Stop spitting the truth. <laughs> well, I wish you the best of luck. Mental health should be a priority and all that. Thanks, I really needed the encouragement. Come back if you need more encouragement. I wouldn't dare leave someone alone when it comes to this sort of thing. <laughs> Speaking of not me looking at jobs in Sacramento. <laughs> in Sacramento? California government. <laughs> It pays good, and uh, I'm gonna be real. Cost of living's lower in Sac. Yeah, that makes sense. N not by a lot, but enough. <laughs> no, that makes sense. Thanks. Bye, Jill. Please come again. Someone give her a hug. You should take some of that advice for yourself. I know, I know. Let's call it a day for now. You need some rest. Yeah. Honey! Ah, Dorothy, sorry, we're just closing. I know, I came for you! Dorothy. <laughs> hey, Dorothy. For me. Why are you hugging me? Hey, let's go. She got a hug. Good. She got a hug. I didn't realize this government job you were looking at even better. Yeah, it's California government, uh, either with the bullet train authority or with uh, like actual state government, like, like, um, like state capital. Or one of the departments up there. They pay ten thousand a month. Damn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a hundred and twenty a year, dude. Fuck yeah, I'm taking it. And it's and they're hybrid positions. Fuck yeah, I'm taking that shit if I can. 
I, pa I paid her to do that. All night long. Oh, Dana. Dana. <laughs> Dana. 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 Come again? To put it simply, to put it simply, Dorothy will go home with you and she won't leave your side. Dana. Dana. <laughs> Dana. I don't think you realize what you're asking. Yeah. What do you hope to accomplish with that? Well, at first it was to calm that rage you had earlier. It was either hugs or a cold bucket, and I don't promise there'll be any water in it. Oh my god, Dana! <laughs> Bruh. You calm down a bit, but honestly, I know better than to leave you alone for another night. At the very least, all I look cuddling will give you an epiphany or something. That's some alien reasoning right there. Cuddling, she says. Hiring yeah. Dorothy. Cuddly. Cuddling. <laughs> Hiring... The sex robot who loves her job. Mm -hmm. Cuddling sounds good, yes. But not with Dorothy. Jill may not sleep tonight. Jill, Jill. <laughs> Jill. <laughs> You're in for a time. <laughs> it's not. You need hugs. Many. You need some human, uh, humanoid contact right now. You had your alone time, now we're playing by my rules. Please take care of me. <laughs> She's sending Dorothy. Yeah. <laughs> Treat yourself, buy something nice for you and Dorothy. Okay. <laughs> are four or 320 away. We made a thousand six hundred. I think we could buy. I think we can buy the thing that we need to, and still make it out alive. We got it. We got it. We're good. Let's we're go good. We're yeah, good. we're good. Thank we're God. good. Yeah, we're good. She'll. She wants a Christmas tree. She wants a fucking Christmas. Where's Where's Dorothy? Where's Dorothy? Who is that little one? A very good friend. Why did the music go all the way down? Hello, game? <laughs> That's not what I want. It's so quiet now. I know. Anyways, Christmas tree. Oh my god! <sighs> Will we be okay? I think we'll be okay. I hope so. I want. I, I just want. Jill to focus at work. Oh, God. <laughs> it just, she just needs to make six, 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 16 something. We'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. Lord. Huh? I hope so. <laughs> A very good friend. A oh. very good friend. Mm hmm. Okay, we're not at all. This is we already saw this one. Oh, this is the the guns one. Never mind. Monster girlfriend Chirari. Monster girlfriend. Sounds fun, Jill. It's for nerd. It's for nerds. And then different thousands some fun dating men, cute girls, that fucking music. Is this the goat? Do you like the goat girl? <laughs> Do you like the goat girl? I'm gonna marry a goat. No idea why you pop waifu pie. <laughs> this is waifu bad. <laughs> yes, this. Oh my god, this. <laughs> I get so much flack for like for loving the shit out of Nier Automata just because uh 2B's ass. <laughs> it's a really well written game! Yeah, the stupid game kind of <laughs> You're not allowed to have fun with video games. God, truly. <laughs> All the people that freaking play League and tell me to play League, this. 
<laughs> Bruh. <laughs> no, I'm receiving mysterious messages. Spooky or a bluff, okay. We have a Lilum like right there in the house. Be like, Dorothy, did you get any weird messages? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Nacho, don't, don't tell me. Oh no. Uh. And Richard. Six. I may be a duck. Oh my god, that freaking... <laughs> the, the freaking dog that works at our place is like, yes. Oh my god. What's up, Putter? Hey, what's up, Putter? We are... We're good. How are you? <laughs> Same with Cuddle. Putter, I heard there's a tournament this year. <laughs> Chilling the heck out? Hell yeah, dog. So you decided not to steal all the city's funds? Good. Wow. Mm. Import rate of... Wow, that's not bad, actually. Mm. Yeah, that's fair. Vibin uncontrollably? Hell yeah. Vibin is good. Is the best. Mm -hmm. All right. Ready? Ready. Go to work. Fingers crossed, make the money. Mm hmm. But yeah, is there an event? Yes, I still have my headset. <laughs> evening. 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 Oh, I fucked up my mouse. Evening. An evening. Evening. An evening. Ah, hey. How are you feeling? Little them are soft and warm. Jill? <laughs> Come again. You heard me. So on a scale of from stealing steaming pile of shit to just sad, where are you? Hmm. A sad pile of shit. I still hate myself. I'm still sad as hell, but how to put it? The noise stopped. Hold up. I have never heard someone put like what happens to me in my head better into words. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah? <laughs> Wait, this is me when I get stressed out. I still hate myself, but the noise is gone. <laughs> yeah? That seems very unfortunately accurate. Yeah. I don't know if I explained myself. I'm down. Uh, just shoot me a PM on Discord and I'll, I'll remember. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah, let's go. <clears throat> sort of, kind of. So how were things last night? Cozy, I must admit. I can't believe you paid Dorothy. <coughs> Sorry. I can't believe you paid Dorothy for that. Well, if you want to call that payment, I guess. Hmm? What? I called Dorothy to tell her what happened to you and she was really concerned. She stuttered for a second saying that she had the whole night to go and she couldn't just leave for free. I asked her how much, and she said, enough to pay for this soda I'm having is fine. What? The soda? 
she literally just paid for the soda and that's it and dorothy was like i sold i'm gonna go comfort jill that's sweet yeah how did you get her number they have contacts right Anyways, Jill, if you need a second break or a drink or a hug, just let me know. You hear? Thanks. Dana, stop being best boss. No, for real. <laughs> I'd make you the same offer, but I'm guessing hugs for me are the least of the last thing you want. If you need a bartender, let me know, though. Nice to know. Anyways, we have work to do. Jill, you have really good friends around you. <laughs> you have really good friends. <laughs> like, damn. Time to mix drinks and change lives. <laughs> it's nice to hear that again. She doesn't say that every day. Did you say something? Did I? <laughs> Welcome to Valha- Oh, it's you guys. What? What? What is there more? Oh God! Hey, be more respectful. I brought my boss here. Aren't you a part timer here or something? And my other boss. You're talking to the great Nacho Tumbleweed Jr. Nacho Tumbleweed Jr. <laughs> this is the dog that was interviewed about the Miku. <laughs> Holy shit! Boss, I'm taking my break. I know what you said earlier, but you haven't even started yet. Shit. So, what brings you here today? I want to see the place my best soldier is working at. Soldier? Wait, aren't you the dog I served last Monday? Oh, it's you, Dana. Soldier, why didn't you tell me you were working for Dana? No, that's not Dana. That's just Jay. So I'm guessing you're part of this whole Sira thing. Part of it? I founded it. Humans have the best intentions, but they just don't get us. So I decided to create a place where dogs can be dogs. Here, we can take in any dog without a place in this world. We create our own heaven on Earth. Do you take corgis only? Do I look like one of those safe far bitches? Of course not. I'd include other animals, but sadly I can only take care of those who are of the same species as I. Sad thing is, I'd take him more seriously, but it's a talking corgi with an iPad. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> Will you get anything? I'm fine. What are you? What about you, boss? Manly stuff. Sure. Did I stutter? All right. Okay. Okay. So the guide says this is a really good time to serve this specific drink because no one ever orders it. Apparently. Perfect. <laughs> So how much alcohol should we give the corgi with an eye patch? Enough. <laughs> Enough? One, Enough. three, four. Make it even. Yeah. Eighteen. Snow. Bruh. <laughs> Snow is like kill the corgi. It will knock the cold drunkenness out of you, or knock you out cold. Oh Jesus. Hey. I got achievement for that. Unappreci unappreciated drink. Uh, underappreciated drink. There's a drink no one oh, uh, will order. I think it will. Cool. Uh, there's a drink nobody asked for. Yep. Yep. Yes, this is just what I wanted. Hey, there's a Kappa. Where? Did you Where? see? <laughs> 
Did you see my, like, Steam screen or what? <laughs> Blech. This tastes worse than my own butt. Oh, with my 18. Oh, uh, okay. Hey, you asked for it. This is a really nice place, you know? You picked a good place to work at, soldier. Nice. Does he really get paid? Your efforts to keep Skura afloat will not go to waste. We'll make her better and better. We have more urgent matters at hand, though, like the fact that we don't have enough balls for everyone. Can't they just share the ones we have? You fool, every dog has a right to his own ball. If we can't provide even that, then what's the point of even trying? Wait, don't tell me she just doesn't give a fuck and is spending all her money with water. <laughs> look, at, look at your payday, Jill. Just... maybe. What with the bar closing and all that? The many have enjoyed the boxes more than they do the balls. And that's a good point. What do you think is cheaper, a box of balls or a box of boxes? Are there are there boxes of boxes? Of course there are. How do you think they ship boxes? Tied together? Tied together, don't be silly. Straight from her pocket. Boss is that kind of woman. I love that the two dogs are having a conversation and Jill's just like, uh, uh. Jill's just thinking to herself. Yeah. A box of balls, you get both box balls and a box. Exactly. Best of both worlds. This world is filled with all sorts of recursive madness, you know? Doctors consult doctors, boxes come in boxes, bottles come in bottles. Oh, as expected of you, boss. Wait, that theory only works assuming she's actually paying him with money. Jill! For all I know, she might be, she might be paying him with steaks. So tomorrow you're gonna check for people selling boxes a year. Sir, yes, sir. Ex expect that. Except that to boss, a good steak is more valuable than money. <laughs> I love. There's two whole conversations happening here. Yeah. Wait, wait. What if they come with foil? Russin Strauss had to be taken to the vet because he ate the foil. And a piece of cheese came in. Curses, you're right. We need a contingency plan. Besides, <laughs> boss is not one to scam people, let alone a dog. <laughs> I wonder if we could strike a deal with the vet those safe our bastards have. She's always so nice with us. I know, her smile is so cute too. So is it better that we vet for our vet? Yes, put that on the list. Ah, nacho. Oh yeah, I forgot she knew the dog. <laughs> Are you staying for a while? I was just passing by. I've got some errands to run. Great. Gil can go with you. <coughs> Wait. <coughs> Great. Gil can go with you. I can? You will. I'll, s I'll still get paid for today, right? That depends on... That depends on Nacho's evaluations. All right, Green Horde, let's get going. Bruh. Uh, <laughs> oh, I'm paying him anyways, by the way. Just want to mess around with him. <laughs> I make him do that. Gil, Gil looked like he needed to take a good break, and he's the kind just to not accept such a thing. But with Nacho, he'd have something to do, and he'd be away from the bar for a bit. When you put it that way. Anyway, I'm going back to my office. Your boss sure is nice. Glad I'm working with her, too. Yeah. So, you having anything? Actually, I'm just gonna go sit over there and be on standby. Wait orders. 
miss the chance to ask how or if he even gets paid with money. <laughs> Jill! <laughs> Not Jill important. Priorities. I know, right? Man, I sure need to get wasted. I fail to see how getting wasted will make you feel better. Sake, you piece of scrap. We just got out of the building full of dogs. But this one has a Hawaiian shirt and sunglasses. Hey there, robot. And he talks. <sighs> Welcome to Valhalla. Hey, Jill. Get me a beer, will you? Gotcha. Does Jill want anything? Okay. Roll. Sir, yes, sir. So cute. He's fine. Just a beer then. Friday, Friday after work isn't just a beer though. It's the beer. Okay, so big beer. Big beer, yeah. Don't argue with that. <laughs> I like how you 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 knew and I did I didn't catch on at all. Thank you. Oh. Blah, 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 for two more plan or guide. Oh, thank you. And just mix it. This is why Kettle, this is why Kettle is always here. Because I can't play this game by myself. <laughs> here, let's make it special. Yeah. Cheers. Hey, Jill, do you like beer? The amount of beer cans in my apartment is becoming a problem, actually. I have this friend back in high school who made me some pretty nice crafts with him. I'm still in contact with him if you're interested. No thanks. The last thing I need right now is more crap taking space. <clears throat> <laughs> Look at her apartment. Exactly. So how are things up at Dogtown? Well, that Laura girl is stirring things up for better or for worse. Or worse? She's, um, like a rabbit. An overly politically correct rabbit. Oh, no. R rabbit? Never had a pet rabbit. They're a nervous mess that gets startled all over the littlest of things. And this girl is on the constant lookout, scared of saying something that might irk someone. It doesn't have to be the person she's speaking with, even. It's no problem in the company, but the other day we went out together and holy shit, poor girl can't speak properly. She pauses every sentence to make sure she doesn't say something offensive. She's a nice girl, and it's sweet that she tries so hard not to offend anyone. But seriously, she tries too hard. You don't help! You don't help either! Hmm? You randomly yell, What did you say? whenever she's within earshot distance. Yeah, well... It's just that she looks so cute when she's startled. Betty. 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 <laughs> not helping. No. Like a rabbit. Betty, no. It's not like a rabbit. You're the problem. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it raises up the question of whether she's really like that. Or if you're the one making her aware of anything she says. Well, why don't we test that? How? You go out with her. Why? To test if she's really me who makes her like that. It's not like you can say no, uh, you know? I mean, it's my honor that's on the line here. I want to prove you're only talking shit about me. Even if you were right, you have quite the fixation on that girl. She's fun. Fun how? She actually reacts when I tease her. It's, you take it in stride, but she actually gets startled, squirms, and gets uncomfortable. How is that any good? She's cute and her reactions are cute. But if you keep it up, she'll either leave or get used to you. You know, like me. Shit, you're right! I must save my teasing for when the moment is just right then. No, that's not the problem. It is for me! And what are you doing here? What about the dog? He said he had to go out. By the way, he said his name was... Say, so, this Laura girl, do you guys get along? I wouldn't know. We get along as... As co-workers, at the very least. <sighs> sure. 
<laughs> aside from the whole politically correct rabbit thing. Slow. She's the kind that does things so carefully she does them really, really slowly. Really, really slowly. I can't deny that when she actually finishes stuff, she does a great job, but it's unnerving. She doesn't actually have to be with us in the building, though. She's more like a freelancer. Why is she there, then? Because she likes dogs. And that's why I insist that you two would make a fine couple. What? Mm, that's a really that's a really superficial statement. It's like saying you'd be fine with someone just because you're both women. Okay, bad example. <laughs> yeah, terrible example deal. May I say something? <laughs> Cuddle uh, I don't know what everyone's talking about now. Uh, uh. Um. You gotta, you gotta really clear your throat there, don't you? <laughs> mm -hmm. By all means. If that Laura girl is really as bland as you claim her to be, wouldn't she be better off with more a more um a more assertive person, Lilum? Uh, more assertive partner? Yo, piece of scrap! She's calling you a pussy. She's right though. Sharing interests and being compatible are totally different things. But then you'd be under underestimating the power of love! God! <laughs> Noob cries and single. It's not even this cries and single though, that's just like. That, that's not how that works. <laughs> <laughs> or it's never really how it worked. I've always had to be like. fairly compatible with someone. No, they're, they're saying shared interests. Is not the same thing as being compatible. It, it, I can see where they're right, because it's not necessarily, but it helps. Because you could, you could, you, it helps. It one hundred percent helps. But it's also not the same thing as being compatible. Because you and I share interests, and uh, neither of us have ever been interested. No, and also like, we know that we weren't being compatible anyway. Yeah, exactly. Or like, me and my exes when we worked really well together, we didn't share, like, we shared some interests, but we didn't share all of them, but we were compatible. Yeah, exactly. It, 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 yeah. <laughs> Whether you want to admit it or not, love changes people for better or for worse. <sighs> Who knows, maybe you'll become more assertive after spending time with her. Or she'll drive me nuts. I guess that's a possibility, too. Still, why are you so insistent on me and her getting together? Because she's like a cute rabbit. Someone might try to eat her out there. It'd be a lot easier to keep her in my sight. Girl, what? Why don't you date her? <laughs> right? That doesn't really compatible with my exes. It takes time to learn. Sometimes it does, yeah. So, in short, your motherly instincts arose because of Laura. Huh. Why not see if she likes you and you already tried to hit on her, didn't you? You made me sound like some skirt chaser. <laughs> oh, Betty. Did you? Oh, did you, Betty? Betty, a hundred percent did. There's no doubt. She's not into girls. How did you find out? I I asked her directly. Oh, of course you did. She seemed um. Giddy afterwards. Is she not into girls? <laughs> are you sure? Betty, are you sure? Are you positive? Oh. I heard, oh. I heard her muttering something about meeting her first lesbian. It was weird. Okay. Enough Lara for a night. That. Not the one we were off from Red Street was in it. Oh, <laughs> Ah, that sucks. Yeah. Poor girl. Especially with especially with needing meds like that. Yeah. 
Yeah, shit's hard, man. Mm hmm Well, because, I mean, it does kind of change your personality a little bit. Not saying it does to you, but it depends on the person still, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, it just makes me less crazy. Fair. <laughs> uh, I don't see you enough to judge anymore, Kettle. You know, yeah. <laughs> Refrain from any using any that's what you said last night jokes or variations thereof, please. Party pooper Let's get a drink then. Sounds good. I'll have a bloom light, please. Get me a fringe weaver. Alright. I like their dynamic. Like their a lot. Their dynamic is funny. Uh-huh. And a uh, fringe weaver. Oh, oh. One and then one. Dude was like, fuck me up. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, God, okay. <sighs> I wonder why it's called a bloom light. Seems it was first developed at some video games event. Hell yeah. The creator said something about making the attendees feel like their customers do. What the fuck? <laughs> that attendees were, of course, part of some big games company. It just changed things, which is fine. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. Fair. Seems that company always used too much bloom lighting, so the bartender there literally made them drink all the bloom. Oh my god. So it's not because it glows in the dark? Not this one, no. Oh boy. Oh boy, this is a landmine. <laughs> this is a landmine, Betty. Come to think of it, did you ever change because of a relationship chill? Cop boom. <laughs> Cop boom. In more ways than one, I guess. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Cop boom. Cop boom. <laughs> Would you say for better or for worse? I guess for the better. I'm too thick headed to develop any new bad habits. Although, thanks to my first boyfriend, I did pick up a very annoying habit of correcting people's grammar on the fly. Jill is very bi. Very much so. Pretty annoying when I think back to it. So, you were one of those kinds of people. As for me, sometimes I think I may become more, um, what's the word? Cynical, jaded, bitter, tired of this crap world and everything it throws, in it, it throws on a daily basis. Yeah. Hey! I'm just quoting you. Uh, but yeah, I think I became all that because of this one girlfriend I had in college. She got me into the whole activism thing in the first place. How's that bad? We'd all go and protest, we start all kinds of movements, see things changed. And I really got into the whole thing. But whenever I wanted to get more serious, I find myself coming up against a wall. That wall is an analogy for the fact that not everyone was not everyone was willing to go that far. I found out that pretty fast that most of them were in the whole thing because of some shitty fad. And not because they actually believed in whatever movement they were championing. So I moved from group to group only to find people who were in it because of a fad. Girl. That's so <sighs> Huh? Yeah. Accurate. Yeah, it is. Unfortunately, that's how the world is. God, uh, as, as an activist. Uh, yep. <laughs> and when they were not in it because of the passing fad, they were, they were the dangerous extremist kind. Yep. Oh, boy. <laughs> My problems with people's shit was greatly diminished after all that. So it wasn't 
so much the person you had a relationship with, but rather other people. Um, speaking of, I'll text you something that I saw today. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. You seriously never thought about it that way. You need to stop putting the blame on for what you did, what you do on past relationships. I feel like this writer has experience. Yeah. You can tell. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, where's the other guy, by the way? He had to escort one of the dogs outside. Figures. Oh yeah, the one that was here asked if you were the one, the nice vet lady that works at the Safe Air Toy Company. Oh, I suppose he's interested in talking to you or something. Oh, hey, look, people, together. Go talk. <laughs> exactly. Why didn't he do it then? I don't know. You've been doing a few jobs on the side, haven't you? The pay from the dog. The pay from the dog isn't enough to keep up with the mounting debts. I don't know how you do it. I don't believe dogs pay you at all. <laughs> this is coming from someone working at a place that pays a dog for doing fuck all. <laughs> yeah. I sent you the thing. Hi. Uh. Oof. I don't know if you've been to South Pass, right? No. Okay, but where the trains say Huh? Not that I remember. Okay, so where the train station is, it's um, because the tracks go diagonal across the street crossing. Mm -hmm. uh, the crossing gates actually block off all four, like all four, like a square, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. they're inside the square, like on the street, like on the street, like bruh. <laughs> hmm. God. <sighs> Sorry. I'm very annoyed. All good. <laughs> I'm incredibly annoyed. <laughs> it happens. Yeah. We're fine, but we have to get up early tomorrow. And by we, I really mean her. She got invited to a picnic, and I won't stand to hear another had to go to a picnic with the hangover story. Fine. Uh, let's go then. See ya, Jill. Bye. Again. Man, you're such a party pooper. You'll be in the party pooper tomorrow if you keep drinking. Boss, I'll take my break. Call me if someone comes. Alright. Sweet. Oh. Huh? <laughs> Home, not back. <laughs> if you saw me, like, click the back button, like, four or five times, like, very confused. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Oopsie. Oh, okay. Welcome to Valhalla. 
Oh, hey there, Alma. Aw, oh, Alma. Uh. She seems down. Maybe there's something I can give her to cheer her up. Her favorite drink is. <laughs> this one. That one. Yes, this is. Yeah, her... I think I do remember that. Yeah. Ow, my eye. Mix, mix, mixed. Hey. Hmm. And this? It's on me. I drink so you at least change your expression. <laughs> Why not just say you're worried about me? You got the message anyway, didn't you? <laughs> so how is it? Brantini, so you do pay attention to what I ask for. You have quite the fixation with Brantinis. To be honest, they suit you. Classy drink for a classy lady. Mm -hmm. Hey, want to hear a silly story? Always. When I turned 21, my dad and I went to a bar to celebrate. Just him and I. He told me to dress well, even... <clears throat> He told me to dress well enough that he looked like my sugar daddy. It was a fun night. We pretended at times we were dating. I managed to blow off some steam about my mom. But the highlight was him ordering a brantini for me. Oh. Aww. I've had plenty of drinks and gotten wasted many times since I was 15, but that drink was different. It wasn't about getting drunk. The drink itself was the pleasure. He, took, he too said they suited me somehow. Aww. Ever since that day, he's called me a Brantini girl from time to time. Your dad sounds like a cool guy. You should meet him sometime. So what are you- why are you deflating? <laughs> oh, also, what the fuck? <laughs> you know? You know? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Dress like I'm your sugar daddy. Yeah, that's weird, but I- I-, I... Thanks, dad. Oh yeah, we pretended we were dating. Thanks, Dad. That's w it's weird now that we said it out loud, but it's a really nice way to like treat your your your, your daughter. I guess. Now it's just and now it's just getting weird. The, now it's just getting weirder the more I think about it. Yeah. <laughs> Deflating. When I got sad and started sighing repeatedly. My grandpa would warn me that I would start deflating like an old tire if I kept it up. <laughs> yeah, just weird, yeah. <laughs> so what is it? What Was it the news about people dressing in bunny suits after the whole Alice rabbit boom? Hey, yo. <laughs> nah, that is old news. I mean, it is a problem, but such a thing would only annoy me. Say, Jill, how's your mood right now? I want to ruin it by blowing off all my sword steam. Alma. I've been feeling like other utter shit the last couple of days. You can't make me feel worse. So go ahead. Unwind all your worries on me. Don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, so remember my sister, Diana? The one that separated from her husband and forgot her kids while fucking her way around or something? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Perfect summary. I'll use it next time. I didn't tell you the whole story, though. Then, more specifically, that she threw her husband af out after months of abuse. Ouch. Oh. However, that woman is incapable of getting a job and maintaining herself. And I mean that. She never even thinks about selling some stuff or trying to earn her bread. She just expects a guy to do all of that for her. I have no idea why she turned out like that. Both my mom and dad were hard workers. They even started a small shop to have something to do after retirement. Aww. So, what does this fully capable do woman do a couple of weeks later? Why well, bring her abusive husband back, of course. What? Uh, of course. Yeah, and the guy spent a couple of days with her before leaving her again. He had a nice couple of hot, steamy nights and then left. I... well... Huh. 
You react like my little brother and sister after hearing that. But the story doesn't end there. Oh, no. So she's broke and can't even get enough for a bus. Even though she'd probably be glad to sell her ass just to get money. And it was up to me to pick her up. For the last couple of days, she left her kids with my parents. And being such sweet angels, they've made a mess out of the whole place. Of course. Mm -hmm. Renato and Ava are actually staying with me a couple of days to give them some peace. It doesn't help that I never got along with Diana. So we're in the car and she asks how our kids are. And of course, after all the built-up tension, I just exploded. First, I started ranting about her how kids are growing up seeing some messed up stuff. I start scolding her about not taking responsibility, about not taking proper care of her children. I tell her that she's in no place to have all these esca all those escapades. And after all that, she just says, What the hell do you know? You don't have any kids. Damn. Yeah, you slutty skank. I don't have kids, but I'm not broke just because I refuse to take a job. Damn! I don't have kids, but I'm not leaving them in the first, in the first barely fa familiar house I find. Holy shit! Damn. I don't have kids, but I'm not letting the guy that hit me hit me on a regular basis back into my bed. Holy shit! Damn. <laughs> I don't have kids, but I pretty much raised Ava and Bernardo, and they've turned out pretty damn well. I don't have any kids, but I'm not a cheap whore. Alma, Alma. She needed that scream though. Yeah, Alma. Ah! you the whole time damn 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 jill, jill? damn, damn. <laughs> that can be valid though yeah yeah valid though yeah i was telling kettle like people at work have been telling me to just stop being frustrated i'm like what the fuck thanks i'm cured <laughs> yeah right <laughs> just stop being depressed man i have made a poor decision what'd you do Say damn again. There's nothing to say. I love my family and I put them above all else. But Diana is seriously pushing the boundaries of what I can allow. Any way I could help? You just did. Okay. I know who I'm dealing with. I'm not one to let stuff like that get to me. I'm still angry as hell though, and I couldn't just discuss this with any of my family members. That's okay, I need this story really long. Hey, yo. Right before heading to bed. Hey, Snow. Hey, I mean, you only live once. Exactly. Valid decision. I can't tell my mom your daughter is a slut. I just need to get off all this off my chest, you know? Well, from what I see, there's still a lot of green calls. Oh, sorry. More to get off your chest. It's swollen as fuck. No, all you hear, all, <laughs> all you see here is filled with love and dreams. Is everyone in your family as busty as you? The worst offender is my dad, actually. Damn. Damn. Kidding, kidding. I guess the only one that didn't get the big boob gene was Eva. She insists on getting surgery or genetic treatment, but I tell her she's fine the way she is. Damn straight. Mm -hmm. These can actually be more of a hassle than a blessing. Damn straight. <laughs> and poor Bernardo, his breath actually started growing when he was a rip, dude. Really? That sucks. I just hope I don't take too much from my mother's side of that family. My father's sisters still look quite young, but when menopause hit, my mom lost her looks rather quickly. I'll be real. Every woman in my family at like 50. They were like, like before 50, they looked pretty good. And then like 50 to 55, they just all the age hit all at once. Damn, that sucks. <laughs> and they're all like kind of old ladies now. Aww. I mean, it's fine. They're, they're still, they're all of them are mostly still really spry. So oh, that's good. Yeah. Any good genes you got from your family, Jill? Good enough skin and hair, I guess. I have really, really thick hair and I'm really happy about it. 
There's a thing about a shrimp allergy, but so far I haven't had problems with that. I just hope I didn't get the, the balding gene. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Oh, I see. I hey. got the small, the small bone, uh, large assets gene. Oof. Uh. Which just does wonders for the body. It's, it's balanced. Body, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> totally I, balanced. I I have small bones, big assets, uh, pain. <laughs> My joints cannot handle. Balance is all things should be. <laughs> that does sound pretty not great, though. It's not. It's really not. I have the short and stocky jeans. <clears throat> like, even when, I, even when I was, like, skinnier, I, I would have... Like, my th my my legs were always ridiculous, like stupidly thick, and it was like annoying. My partner got big bones, small assets, but also has terrible joints. I have terrible joints because of the assets. Oof. I have terrible joints because of poor choices. <laughs> yeah. Hey, you know what worries me about the whole the most about the whole Diana situation? How your nephews are turning out. And she leaves them with their mom, they'll turn out better than her, somehow. Actually, what worries me is, what if I end up like that too? Girl? Girl. Girl? No. No. The fact that you already see a problem with the behavior. Yeah. And you hold down a very successful job. Yeah. You're good. If I find a good man and I settle down, what if he turns out shitty? And what if I have a sudden burst where I want to live my life and end up like that? Girl... Everyone does, but you're setting yourself up for success. You're fine. You're doing good. What if I have kids and I end up neglecting them because of all that? If you ask me, the fact that you're even worried about it is indication enough that you'll be fine. There it is. <laughs> you think? I'm pretty sure. You said head. before that you pretty much married the guy after a couple of months, right? I drive over to the Chargers. I'm sorry, Snow. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah. No offense, but those are the kind of people who wouldn't even think about all that. Bad people don't worry about being bad people, etc. Yeah. Exactly. Besides, if any guy ends up marrying you because he passed your irrational standards. Hey! Am I lying? No, but there are things best kept as, as unspoken truths. <laughs> okay. uh, I wonder if I'll ever find a good guy. You will. You'll know when the time comes. I sure hope so. But for now, the time has come to get another drink. What can I get you? Hmm. Get me something with ice, but with alcohol. But alcoholic, please. All right, on the rocks. Cold and with alcohol. Shit. <laughs> I go through everything. On the rocks. Alcohol. And mixed. That's alcohol. Two eighty. I'm just. I'm just. I'm just looking for the biggest number now. Because we really need that money. Yeah, we do. Two fifty. So two eighty was the other one. Huh? On the rocks. Oh. Three twenty. Oh. Mhm. Mm Number go up. Number go up. Number go up. This one. This one's a pretty good. Yeah, but it's not on the rocks. Oh, Piano Man's Rock, yeah. yeah. Piano Man is the, is the highest number. Nope. 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 That's it. Pia right. Piano Man it is.
Thanks, I need to cool down a bit. That's why I'm here. So, you said you felt shitty the last couple of days? Why? Don't think too much about it. Well, come on! You heard my problems, I want to help you too. Don't worry too much. Right, I almost forgot to tell you something. What is it? My boss is throwing a mega Christmas party this Sunday. You want to come? Why didn't we invite the other two? Did we invite the other two? I think, I think we might have invited Dorothy. Oh yeah, we did. Why didn't we invite Say and um, Stella? That's a great question. Uh, sure, something tells me this mega Christmas is going to be a mess my parents' home, so I'd rather avoid it. Are you guys getting chicken? I can get one. Hmm, to be honest, I wouldn't know. Bring it if you want. It won't go to waste. Gotcha. Hmm, I say, Jill, what's your favorite part of the chicken? Favorite part? I guess I like legs the most. Really? I like breasts better. Breast is a bit too simple, don't you think? Legs have a better, better texture. What is your favorite part of a chicken? Drumstick. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, I was like, I wonder what her answer is going to be. And it was just like, yes. Edible. <laughs> Edible. Uh, I don't know. Breast or leg. No, that's fair. I like drumstick, so thigh. Drumstick is... The leg. Right? The leg. Okay. Maybe, but simple is usually better. The rest is easy, uh, easier to enjoy than legs and a lot less money. I, yeah, she's not wrong. It is a lot less messy. Yeah, a lot less messy. Sorry. Mm-hmm. You silly girls. What? You're there talking about breasts and legs when everyone knows the best parts are the wings. Oh, my God, Dana. Dana, please. Boss, what's that? Spicy chicken wings. Where did you get spicy chicken wings? Wings suck? Wings in the sense that we're talking about suck. Wings in like chicken wings, like wing stop, whatever. Those are good. I disagree. Only to say that I prefer the Korean, like the, the new Korean ones. The, the, the Korean style well, ones. I'm not talking about, like, specifically Wingstock. I'm talking about, like, when you get wings from a place. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, agree. Too much work. But you just buy get them. Get, oh, yeah, you can also get boneless. Get boneless. But that's just, like, mystery meat. Adult chicken, adult chicken nuggets. Yeah, that's also true. I like, I like wings, though. I like wings. I like I like boneless wings. I don't like I don't like eating things on a bone. I don't mind it. Actually, I prefer because it it's a it's a little I tastier. Feel very messy. Fair. It's a saucy nugget, which is great. Fair. It is. <laughs> From a spicy chicken. Oh my god, it's called spicy chicken. You know, spicy chicken. The shop two blocks from here. There are a lot of work to get up. But they're not that hard! It's not that hard. I just prefer not to have to do any effort at all. God, okay. <laughs> I just want to eat. I don't want to work. But but it's so tasty. <laughs> but I want to eat, not work. But it's so tasty. I don't even notice the work. <laughs> I do. And I notice the 500 napkins I use. Fair, I guess. I still prefer them on the bone. <laughs> it's not tasty enough to matter. Am I, I am the odd one now and I will stand my ground. I will die on this hill. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, let me rephrase that. Why are you carrying a bucket of spicy chicken wings? Why aren't you carrying a bucket of spicy tight chicken wings? <laughs> well, because... Eh? Ribs, though. Delicious. That Ribs we... We can agree on that. 
opinion on beef ribs? Question mark. Fair. I like beef ribs, but they have less meat usually. But and usually they end up a little crunchier, but I like them anyway. I like crunchy ribs. Fair. But I also like meaty ribs. I want like a steak. God, same. I want to go to a steakhouse. Yeah. I want a steak. I want to go to a steakhouse, man. <laughs> yeah. I don't really get beef ribs because you get few get fewer and pay more, but you still get the same amount of meat. I'm gonna be real. You still get the same amount of meat. Not as much. Yo, Armitage. Alma. We're still paying more. But I like it! <laughs> Stomping his feet <laughs> on the ground. But I like it! <laughs> yeah, that's basically what's happening here. Throwing a tantrum. Why does everyone hate me? I didn't know what I said. With a chicken. You're talking about be cooked already. You might need to hear you know, but it'd be uh, it'd be cooked otherwise. Great, I expect you're here Sunday at eight p.m. Nothing wrong with that. I just can't have an opinion because of it. That's fair. That's fair. My company has paid for it before, or other people have paid for it before, so that's how I tried it. That's fair. Thanks. I, I very bravely put the other half of the headphone. It feels okay so far. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Hell yeah. Anyway, I'll be back to my office. The piercing is inside my ear, so it's not, like, terrible. That's fair, yeah. She left, she the... left the bucket. Oh, God, sorry. Want some? I, I, speaking of piercings, I actually had a conversation with my CEO that people will judge you as a guy to, if you get piercings, and it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. <laughs> and I was like, I thought, I was like, I was think, I told him like earnestly, I was like, I'm thinking about it because there, it's not, it's like, I want to wear jewelry. But I don't. Yeah. I don't want to wear a watch, because that's like the only thing that's like socially acceptable for most guys. Yeah. Or a ring, but I don't want to wear a ring. Yeah. I've legit repeatedly. And if you and if you get sleeper jewelry, it's so freaking comfortable. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like it's nice. I can actually like, have jewelry. You don't. Yeah, like if you wear sleeper jewelry the it there's no like stick to poke your your skin it's just round and comfy and you don't feel like you're wearing anything yeah yeah exactly like with snow i have a necklace i got fairly recently and it's nice i will sometimes wear necklaces but they uh with the cloth one with the, the like the, the string ones they get worn out pretty quickly and the metal ones uh I'm, apparently my skin's pretty acidic, so I, I eat through anything that's not, like, properly just, like, solid nickel or, oh, uh, or um, silver or gold, so. If it's not, like, if it's not legit, then it doesn't work for me. Hey, oh. uh, my significant other has pierced ears, and he works an office job. That helps. I'm thinking about it. It, it's... He has he has like three piercings. I know. I have a uh I know. I just have a lot of I work with a lot of older people, so they'll 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 judge me for it. Yeah. You know. like, I mean, so does he, I feel. That's fair. There's a lot I feel of like a lot of his coworkers are older. That's fair. There's a lot of things I want to do to my body, but it's still it's becoming more it's still borderline. Yeah. Yeah. Tattoos are getting, becoming more acceptable, too. Yeah. I, there's a lot of things I want to do in my body, but like I said, I'm spending a lot of money on my hobbies. 
because yeah. my hobbies Honestly, are stupid. Honestly, cartilage piercings, side note, cartilage piercings are not that expensive. Oh, really? No. They're the cheapest piercing. Oh, shit. Out no. of every single piercing you could get, they're the cheapest. Oh, shit. Uh, I, the one that I got today is called a rook piercing. Uh-huh. And it was like $80 before tax. That's not bad, actually. And that's one of the more pricey ones. I think my nose piercings were like 60 before tax. I want to get an industrial at some point, and that's going to be 100 before tax. Which one's that one? The, you know, like the metal bar that goes straight through the top of the ear? Oh, yeah. 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 I keep thinking of just getting lobes done, just because that's the same, actually, to be hey, honest. honest. Honestly, do it. I got my lobes done when I was 16, and it was not only not that painful, they heal so quickly. I was thinking about it, to be honest. They heal very quickly, very easily, as long as you, like, keep them relatively clean. Mm -hmm. You, like, clean them twice a day with saline solution, you're good. Oh, I need to do that. Those are the fastest to heal mm -hmm. and the least painful to get. Fair. Also... I also don't like needles, which doesn't help. Fair. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, as someone who has ten piercings now, it's it's all. I, I was still nervous when I got my piercing today. I was still nervous. I had to go to the DMV today, and the place was like within walking distance, and I was like, I'm just gonna go get a piercing now. Hell yeah. Walk over. Hell yeah. And uh, rook piercings are in a thicker part of cartilage. Uh huh than like every like the helix or whatever mm -hmm. uh, same with the conch piercing that i have yeah so you feel the needle pop in mm -hmm. and you feel it pop out oh it was rough but cartilage piercing you barely feel it because it's just skin oh okay fair <clears throat> i mean you still do feel it but it's also, not like <laughs> i'm gonna go to like claire's i'd be smart <laughs> Fair. Honestly, honestly, speaking of Claire's, uh -huh. that's where I got my first, first Helix. No way. I got my first Helix at Claire's, and they used the gun. E. <laughs> oh, Lord. I still have it. Like, it turned out okay. But God. <laughs> Oof. Yes. Oof. <laughs> Correct. That, that, I'm like, I'm like cringing a little bit when I think about I it. I was, I was young and stupid. Fair. Oh, don't mind if I do. Oh, mild spice. Nice. Weird. Maybe she got a mix-up order, and that's why she left them here. She usually orders stronger stuff. I found buckets that make my throat itch just from being near them. Damn. Dana Dana wants, like, your tongue to light on fire. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hmm. Say, Jill, what kind of guys do you like? That's a sudden question. I'm not too picky with guys, to be honest. I want them to be, I want them to be decent enough. Not jealous, not aggressive, responsible enough to keep a job. That's no good. Do you like them buffed? I'm up tall. Hmm. No tattoos or piercings, I guess. Never liked either. She's the opposite of me. <laughs> Luckily, enough enough people who'd smack sense into me if I ever thought about going to Claire's for a piercing. Good. Go to a tattoo shop for a piercing. Kettle, kettle would grab me by my hair and walk me to a proper tattoo shop if I thought about it. <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't do Claire's. I've only gotten one piercing at Claire's, and that was the Helix. Oh, uh, fair. Yeah. I'd... I went to, like, this piercing kiosk in the mall for a good bunch, for, I think, all of my lobe piercings. Oh, damn. Every single lobe piercing I have was at a a piercing kiosk in the mall. Interesting, but, but that's what they like. My all the the cartilage piercings I have and my nose piercings, those were done at a tattoo shop. Oh, uh, fair. Uh, they're like, uh, nope, fair. No, kettle kettle would like, just, like yell at me for thinking about it, and then just like we're going here. Yeah. <laughs> no, the 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 Claire's one for sure got infected. E. It for sure got infected. Not good. It was not a good time. 
<sighs> what about you? I like them well dressed. If they go out in iron shirts and all coordinated, well coordinated clothes, they're sure to catch my eye. Uh, some muscle is always fine too, but sharply dressed males never uh, catch my attention faster. And yet you're still single. That's how I like my men. My potential husband, on the other hand, is another matter completely. I see. So, can you get me a drink here? The spicy wings turned out to be spicy. <laughs> I clear as they just wiped down with the clock, not even pretending to be sent. Yeah. Oh, oh God. Fuck no. Yeah. Fuck it, no. They, they don't change the needle. Fuck no, dude. They use the same gun for everybody. Fuck no. This shit needs to be sterilized, man. <laughs> it sure does. Anything as long Whereas, as... The tattoo place that I go to to get my piercings done, they open a new needle. Thank. That has been in a plastic sealed container. That has obviously been sanitized. <laughs> it uh is brand freaking new, never <laughs> been used before. Yeah. And then they still wipe your ear down first. Jesus. Anything as long as it helps me with the spiciness in my mouth. Okay, something refreshing. So spicy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, apparently this one is the one that to go for. I don't know. Oh yeah, why. another piano woman. No, it's or, not a or a piano woman. Yeah, it's not that, but it's this sweet. Oh, it's sweet. Duh. Um. Sweet and expensive is basically what happened. Pretty much. But yeah, now I've got four lobe piercings, two on each ear. Mm -hmm. I've got a conch. Mm -hmm. Two helixes, a rook, and two nose piercings. Damn. And then I'm gonna get an industrial. Hell yeah, dude. Actually, those look really good. They do, and I've been wanting one for a really long time. Fuck yeah, dude. Oh, it helped. Thanks. Alright, so next question. What kind of girl do you like? Mm-hmm. You first. Sorry, I don't swing that way. Sure, I have no qualms about saying a girl is cute or cool, but... Nope, I prefer men in my bed. Now you. Shit, just calm down. I guess I like girls with light-colored hair. Jill? Jill. Light-colored hair? Yeah, you know, like redheads and such. What about white? Like your boss. You were just setting me up for that comment, weren't you? Sorry, it's just that when she got here with a bucket of wings, her eyes pretty much started sparkling. We all knew. We all knew. <laughs> your whole behavior transformed. You became giddy and cheerful all of a sudden. Jill? <laughs> called out, Jill. What do you hey. have to say about that? Hey, I can't blame you. She's pretty nice. I just felt like teasing you. <sighs> so, like a light hair. What about blondes? Do you like me? Yeah, I guess. Let's say I'm into girls too and I start hitting on you. Would you go along with it? Nice body, pretty face, and a good apartment? I wouldn't ever let you go. And a good apartment! <laughs> yep. Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay then, enough tangents. Why don't you tell me why you're feeling shitty these last days? What? Oh, that. I told you not to think too much about it. And I told you I want to know. Come on, Jill. You've heard the problem so many times. Now I want to help you. Come on. Come on, come here. Eh? I told you to sit here. Come on. Eh? eh? 
What are you? Oh, hey, Aww, let, let's go. Jill. Let's go. That's Aww, Jill. She looks really cute. She is very cute. All right, then. Now I'm the bartender and you're the client. Hardly. Bartending station only works with me. I see. Okay, then. I'm... Oh! Hello? Oh, she hacked it. Okay. She did. That was a bunny. Wait, she, she's Alice. Funny. Dude, she's Alice Rabbit. Oh, Man. Did you just oh saw? You just... I did see that. <laughs> Move this here, click here, and now it works for you and for me and for that dog in the Hawaiian shirt. Why with him too? He's a dog in a fucking Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> Valid. Valid. Right, and how did you even manage to? Oh yeah, the hacker. Right. Now we've changed roles. You've been feeling shitty. Mind telling me why? It's. A long story. I don't even know where to start. Start from the beginning. Okay then. It's something that goes back to my college years. Oh boy. <laughs> Whoa, that's taking it way back. Back in compulsory, compulsory education, I never made too much of an effort, but I managed to get high grades. Even in PE, I managed to do well enough to always get perfect grades. Show off. Yep. And then, of course, when I got to college, shit started getting hard. I had this perfectionist streak that wouldn't let me feel anything. Burning my eyelashes studying, I eventually managed to keep up good grades. After about half of the career, I made, met a teacher, student teacher. Her name was Lenore. Oh, there it is. She helped me a lot with my studies. She even got me into stuff that gave me more credit. I really liked her, and after some time, I found out she liked me too. Oh! -ho. We started going out. I met all her family, even, and. You want a drink? What? A drink. Around this time, there's usually a pause that makes you offer a drink to the client. There was no such pause. Please, I want to test this whole bartending interface. A sugar rush, then. You can't mess that up. Right. <laughs> oh my god. You asked for a sugar rush. Now, how does this thing work again? Welcome back, J Alma. <laughs> yeah. One, two, one. Let's get her four. She deserves it. And mixed. Thanks. That's what you said. I... <laughs> How is it? Like I said, you can't mess up a sugar rush. Hmm. I had this gut feeling that with your body you'd make a better bartender than me. God! <laughs> You're selling yourself too short. You're cute, you know? People don't go to bars for cuteness, though. Jill? Jill. <laughs> Jill, it's half booze. It's like a hundred and it's like a hundred and thirty percent booze. Yep. <laughs> no oh wait, not the uh, sorry. Uh sixty percent booze or something like that. You know, obviously never been to a cat bar then. A what? A what? Besides my booze can be a hassle when we're trying to move around this kind of stuff. The Fair. fuck is a cat bar? Sorry. <laughs> cat bar. It's exactly what it is. Cat bar. Yeah, full of cats. Speaking of, I still really want to go to the, the, the cat cafes in the area. Still. Yes, same. They, they, I've been to a cat cafe and a dog cafe. And the dog cafe folded, which makes me sad. Yeah. Also, be mostly because they kept peeing and pooping on the floor. Aww. Because they're dogs and they're kind of dumb like that. <laughs> yeah. So, keep telling me the story. <sighs> I got Jill's just like, I don't want to do this. <laughs> I know. Well, as the career went on and on, it got harder and harder. 
the last year and a half of it became nothing but study session after study session. Investigations, my thesis. Girl smart. When the graduation ceremony came, I had to make a speech suddenly. While reading said, and suddenly while reading said speech. I almost had a panic attack. Fear of public speaking. I realized I lost about a year and a half of my life. I tried to remember if I did anything fun at all, but all I can remember was studying and investigating the topic. I didn't enjoy doing all that, so I was just standing there and the satisfaction of graduating was minimal. I realized I had only gone through the motions up day after day, from high school to graduating. I, I, I felt like whole years of my life had slipped through my fingers. Big hug. <laughs> Oh, by the way, the, the 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 guide says, "Oh, how the turntables." <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh. I never stopped to think if I enjoyed what I was doing. In fact, I never stopped. But at that point, I stopped and realized I needed a breather or something. Did I even like that career? It was all terrifying as hell. I needed all my strength to not start running like a panicked mess. Hmm. So a couple months later, I got an offer to start working at this big research facility. Lenora was ecstatic. She was so proud of me back then. But I was just scared. That would be my job. I'd spend my life expanding on what I did during that year and a half. What if I had such a real sudden realization like the one I had at graduation but when I turned 40? I didn't know what to do, but I sure as hell wasn't taking that offer. I told Lenore and she freaked out. She confessed that she was jealous because she never got such a chance. Things developed pretty quickly. She said one too many things, I said one too many things. Oh my god. In the end, I just stormed out of her house and I broke a vase in the process. <coughs> After that, I never spoke to her again. Ugh. Damn. I feel really bad for you, Jill. I know, that's tough. You guys just... Commu communication. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry, I I suddenly feel bad for pushing you to tell me all that. Why are you feeling shitty about that after all this time, though? Unless you've been feeling shitty for years. I have, but it's not just because of that. Eh? The other day, Lenore's sister Gabrielle came into this bar. Apparently Lenore died last week. Uh... Localized nan nanomachine rejection, a heart attack. Apparently she had it for a long time, but never told me one. And coincidentally, it got worse after I left. And I just can't stop thinking about it. Wondering if me being there would have made a difference. If it's true she had that for a long time, why didn't she tell me she was sick when we were together? I don't know, I just feel all kinds of failure. Jill. And to make it worse, I also lashed out at Gabby. Yes, she was blaming me for her sister's death and all, but... She's just a kid, for fuck's sake. She lost a sister who pretty much raised her on her own. And to top it all off, I suddenly can't remember what stopped me from apologizing. Pride? Fear? A stupid effort to leave the most awesome person I loved as a thing of the past? Ah, oh, Jill. Who cares? I lost my chance to apologize to her forever. Truly forever. I'm such a piece of shit. Selfish piece of shit. I honestly don't know what to say. I, I didn't expect the story to be this. I... Yo, boob tender. Yes? What a big beer here. C coming right up. A big, a big beer, big beer. What makes a beer big in this thing? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Four. One, two, three, four. There we go. Wait, I'm missing something. No. I'm missing something. First of all, that's nine. Shit. Okay. Okay, one, two. Mm-hmm. One, two, three, four. One, one two. two. 
One, two, three, four. Two, and then eight. Four. One, two, three, four. What the? F where did I fuck up? You did two flatter guide again. Oh, t okay. This is why. This is why you're here. <laughs> Aside from, you know, everything else, every other reason why you're here. <laughs> oh, shit! Ah, fuck! <laughs> it's okay, it's Alma. This is canonical, right? Yeah. Yo, boob tender, a big beer. Yo, boob tender, <laughs> a big beer. <laughs> big beer for Jill. Thanks. Aw, her smile. No. I need to remember to take care of the cans in my apartment. Do you drink lots of beer? Perfect. No notes. <laughs> right? One of the perks of the BTC issued liver implant is that I can drink lots of beer without getting too wasted. That's why she could drink the whole 12 pack. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, Jill, what kind of girl was Lenore? Hmm? Well, she was calm and smart. Back in college, I was too thick-headed and got riled up easily. Stress was my default state. So, just like you're behaving right now. Honestly, college. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Shut up, I was worse. Can't picture that. Don't. It's embarrassing. Anyway, she, anyway, oh, sorry. she was always there, finding a way to pull me down. She was also able to hold conversations about pretty much any topic. One time I saw her go from talking about video games to talking about sports. All of that variety while still being a hardcore scientist. You know, it's good to have hobbies. It is. What the fuck is this? I don't know. She would always push me into social interactions if she saw me by myself, and she would drag me with her. Watching people is fine, but talking to them is better, she would say. Lenore would always present me to... Present... Yeah, present me to her many acquaintances as the girl I don't mind cuddling with for hours. Damn! <sighs> Man, I'm gonna miss her. After a point, I didn't even think about getting back into a relationship with her, but... She was such an awesome person, I just wanted to apologize. And now? <sighs> you know, in a cruel twist of irony, she's the one that made me pick up bartending. No. Oh. Back when I was thinking what the hell to do with my life, I remembered a night where we spent in a club. She started talking about how the drinks were synthesized, the chemistry involved, the reactions, and all of that. Everything sounded so fascinating. I remember saying that to her and that her talk made me want to start mixing drinks. Good praise, yeah. She said if everything else fails, why not take up bartending? Huh, interesting. Are you okay? For some value of okay, yeah. It's just... I wanted to thank you, Alma. That's to thank me? I guess I just needed someone to tell all of this to. You were the one. Damn. You volunteered yourself. You insisted on listening to me. You stood there listening to the whole thing from beginning to end. I know I might not be the most expressive person when I'm not... That I'm not one to sprout love and fluffiness, but... I really like you. Maybe I'm just a bartender and you're just a client. But I really appreciate your friendship, for at the very least your patronage. I really enjoy working for you. Jill, are you dying? Shut up, I'm trying to have a heart to heart here. No. Oh. Oh, you're so cute. Like, and... This is the most beautiful expressiveness we've seen on Jill. Yeah, right? Like dialogue and like we don't get to see her like face that often either mm -hmm. sorry sorry it's just it's weird for you to get so sappy well I just realized that the saddest thing is how I'll never be able to make amends 
and it hurts like fucking hell, you know. I never, and I mean never want to feel that way ever again. I don't want someone to suddenly exist in my life and exit my life and have my last memory of them involve something nasty. I don't want the lingering grief of having burned a bridge on a wind. I want to avoid that at any cost, and if it means breaking character every once in a while, so be it. I'll let everyone know how I really, really feel about them. I think this is going to be an amazing learning experience for Jill. Very much so. If I ever fight with them, I'll swallow my pride, muster all the courage I can, and be the one to apologize. I hate feeling like this. Hate it. Hate it. <laughs> That's a nice resolution. Maybe I'll be a copycat and do the same. Alright, enough sappiness. Get back here. I'm on duty, you know. Fine. It's almost closing time anyway. It was fun while it lasted, though. Hey. Yeah? I mean it, you know. Thanks for everything today. Silly Jill, you listen to my problems, I listen to yours. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> I'll be leaving now. Oh, before I forget. Did I ever tell you about all this with you? Did you ever tell talk about all this with your parents? Why don't you do that sometime? I don't know. I don't want to bother them with my problems. Don't be silly. They're your parents. They live to share your problems. You should try having a talk like this with them sometime. They'll appreciate it. Anyway, I'm out. See you on Sunday! Take care. That all my girl show is nice. Ah, but boss, did, did you hear all that? Not all of it, but a good chunk at the very least. Your expression changed a lot already. It did? You look happier. That's always good. Anyway, let's call it a day. I expect, a, I expect an even brighter Jill tomorrow. Right. Oh yeah, boss, about those chicken wings. Fucking idiots at the spicy chicken. Sorry, Dana, we don't have enough spices for your order until tomorrow, they said. <laughs> Is that how they treat their regulars? <laughs> They're called a manager. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> oh, fuck. Parish titty hacker. Oh, we're so close. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, no. We are $60, $70 away. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, fuck. We're gonna spend a whole month. Oh fuck! A whole week. On the fifteenth of January, dude. That sucks. That sucks. Okay. 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 So, I might, I might, over the weekend, do all of this again, and have the bill paid, and we can come back <laughs> with Jill with power, because I can't, I can't do this. <laughs> it's, it's, they're so... We're so close. We were so close, that's so frustrating. I know. We'll be back on... We're literally $70 away. Yeah. I will... I'll be back. <laughs> I will... On Tuesday, I will have beat the entire game up to this point. Sick. And paid her electricity. <laughs> okay. Cool. Anyways. Uh... Let's just end today, because everyone's playing yeah. a bunch of weird shit again, and I don't feel like dealing all with right. it. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see y'all next time. I realize it's bye. very late. <laughs> it is. Yeah. All right. Bye! Bye!